If you were to make the trip from Eugene to San Francisco, you could spend eight and a half hours in the car or an hour and a half in the air. But one pro skateboarder is making the trip on four wheels with only his two feet to power him along the 600 mile path. The road's gonna be interesting. It's a lot of hills and a lot of rough road and a lot of cliffs. Highway Patrol will probably visit me a few times to figure out what the heck I'm doing on the side of the road with a skateboard. Mike Crespino will be taking off on September 12th, riding his skateboard along Highway 101 all the way to California, across the Golden Gate Bridge and into the Bay Area. It's not an easy feat for the 48-year-old, but for Mike, the miles will be worth it to raise awareness for a cause that's close to his heart. We've got a state of uh, emergency regarding youth mental health here in Lane County. That's what this skate is about. Mike hopes the unique trip and any financial support that comes with will directly impact mental health services at home, specifically more support for the younger generation. There needs to be more awareness uh, regarding the issue, that the uh, issue doesn't just go away if we don't look at it. Mike will be honoring two young skaters as he rides, who sadly lost their lives to mental health issues, Ben Moody and Silas Strimple, just two kids who love to skate, spending most of their time riding at Washington Jefferson Park. This is our church, and they were here every day, and uh, they are greatly missed now that they're gone. Silas suffered from schizophrenia. His father remembers him as kind-hearted and fearless on the board. But he sadly began to distance himself from family and developed paranoia. Silas tragically passed in 2021. And then there's Ben. He was a senior at South Eugene High School, about to graduate before he died by suicide just this March. The boy's deaths hit the community hard. They were just good, good people, and uh, not only being really gifted skateboarders, but they were just obviously um, very caring and loving individuals. They were kind to people who came down here to ride. Some of the most beautiful things I've ever heard said about anyone can be said about Ben and Silas. To keep their memories alive, skaters and the Emerald Shred Collective got together with local artists to create some custom-made skateboards. Silas was very metal, Ben was very hip hop. So we, we made sure that the memorial boards we made kind of represented the, each of their characters real well. The boards were originally made for the mothers of Silas and Ben, but more people wanted one of their own. Now dozens of boards are being made to honor the two boys. Mike will even be taking one on his journey with plans to hand deliver it to Ben's brother, Drake, who lives in San Francisco. Going to San Francisco and hand delivering Drake the board while at the same time raising funds and awareness uh, seemed like the right thing to do and a beautiful way to put a good spin on this trip is to say like, I skated your brother and Silas down to see you. Mike now hopes people will follow his journey and donate so the Emerald Shred Collective can build a permanent memorial for Ben and Silas at the skate park. Maybe a skatable feature with a place to sit um, with beautiful mosaic tile work um, for them as well as placards with their faces on them. Having something here so that their family and their friends can spend time with them just seems like the right thing to do. The goal is to raise $20,000 for the memorial. Mike says he wants to create a permanent place for anyone to pay their respects in a place that the two boys considered a second home and he is willing to go the distance to make it a reality. I want them here, home with us, so that everybody that's here, still with us, can see how great they were, so much so that I would skate 600 miles in their name to erect something to represent them fully. In Eugene, Carly Tinsley, KEZI. Nine News.